So without dwelling back too much, in hindsight, how disappointing was it just to get a draw against Bromley? Um, it left it a bit flat in the changing room after, you know, because we were uh, so close to a, another win. Um, but you got, got to be trying to stay as rational as possible for as long as possible in this game. And you know, when we reflected on it, we thought it's uh, Bromley a, a difficult op opponents, and um, they made it hard for us. Uh, and you know, you've got to look back on a decent run, um, and we're really in a good place. So. You know, it didn't damage anything too much and um, definitely the momentum is with us still. I was going to ask the next thing to, to say, in context, how do you view it? But you've more or less just answered that, it, just one game and, mm. and you've got plenty left. Probably do a draw, really, you know, after all, all the, I think it was 11 wins out of 13 and um, we, we performed very well in that spell and there were episodes of the game the other day, I'd say, were really encouraging and suggest that we're on the right track still. Um, Nothing really changes much here, the way we play, so it's just about getting back on it um, uh, tomorrow night and again, hard opposition, but uh, it should be, it's a decent pitch, uh, good ground now, and we're, again, we're really looking, really looking forward to it. And Solly Hull, on paper at least, so was, look on paper, obviously, good opposition for you this weekend. Oh, 100%, you know, I mean, we've played against them the first game of the season, really tough uh, opponents, um, massive, massive team. And uh, you know they've mixed it up a little bit tactically since the new manager came on board, and it looks like they they, they split and play a lot more, and and so it should be should be an exciting game. You say they're a massive team. Is that right across the pitch? And if so, how do you deal with it? It tends to be at least six foot two um, and upwards, but you just got to be competitive um, and not let the game just fizzle out so it's it's just dictated by set players but we've still still got to be very competitive you know in our box you know and we've got good players who know how to market well um, mm -hmm. and you haven't got to be daft and invite problems by conceding too many corners and free kicks um, and the rest of the time when it's in play you've got to make your most uh, make the most of it and and make sure we pass it quickly and do what we do when we're we're at our best I guess from a fan's point of view, there might be one or two eyes drifting to next week with the FA Trophy semi-final. Uh, how are you managing to, to combat that as a, as a group? Well, we're trying to get the balance right. Obviously, the focus and training and um, tomorrow will entirely be on this league fixture. It's um, such an important game for us, you know, and other teams play on Saturday. So, we have to send the right message and, and get the right uh, points uh, on board, hopefully. And then... Obviously on Saturday we'll be going to watch Notts County. We were at Notts County the other day, so um, that's where we try and get the balance. You know, so we we know fully about the uh, uh, upcoming opponents. Has it fallen quite nicely for you then? The timing of the fact you've got a Friday night game just a week before this. Um, well, I think so. Actually, time needed. You know, to to rest the lads, and it'll be a bruising encounter, no doubt, tomorrow. Um, but then, yeah, we've, the lads will have the weekend off, um, and then we'll have next Wednesday off as well. So. A bit sharp sessions in between, and but we can really look forward to that game. You know, as a first semi-final in the trophy. Um, but tomorrow, it's it's a, a a huge task, but one that we're capable of doing well in. You know, for our minds are on it, and we're prepared to do battle. Probably looking ahead a bit too soon now, which I, I really didn't mean to do. So let's look at you, your squad. Uh, Connor Hall missing last week. How is he? Still, he was still a bit sore um, yesterday, but went just a light session today. So. It's probably a fitness test. Um, it's a good player for us, but Max has done very little wrong as well when he's played um, and he's stepped in. So, you know, we're, it's a squad game in this time of the season. You're bound to some clubs rotate when they can, when they've got 25, 30 men squads. We haven't got that, but we've got uh, very good players that are ready to step, step into the breach when, when needed. Is everyone else all right? Nothing else to concern you? No, nothing major to concern us at all. Um, should be nice and strong and, I say, looking forward to it. And Max Coogan, you mentioned stepping up last week, starting shirt for him. How did you feel he came through? Yeah, he did well. He competed well and um, he's getting nicely better into the group. You know, you can see him training. Um, there's, there's a good rapport between all the lads and he's, uh, it's, it's easy for lads to settle in, to be honest, with our group and he's done just that. Um, and he'll be, uh, look, if it's him tomorrow, he'll be looking forward to another game. And just to catch up with Mark Beck, you mentioned about a big side against you. Obviously, he's the biggest you, you've got in your squad. Um, you said you were looking for a second, of a second opinion on his injury. Ha, uh, any progress with that? Yeah, there's a, a bit of progress yesterday um, in the fact that he'll, um, because of it, 
a tendon uh, injury within the hamstring. You know, he, he needs an injection, uh, but he'll still be out a number of weeks. So it was. T it's been tough on him, you know, and that's why we all have to get round him because it's um, it's just been ongoing for so long, and he, he played such a big part in you now our rise up the table. So it's unfortunate for him, but I've said John Stead's been brilliant in the meantime and and uh, kept us on that upward tra trajectory up the league. So you know. Um, He'll keep us going until, you know, obviously Beck is back to compete for a place. And do you think that could be before the end of the season now? It'll, it'll be it'll be a tight one by the time he's back. Um, it'll be too fast to throw him in and, you know, with a week or so to go. But, uh, you know, miracles happen and we'll be open uh, for, for just that for, um, for the lad. You know, he's, he's such a good lad and a good player for us.